Hello everybody, uh, Get Goody here, and today I'll be doing an opening of the Legendary Collection with the... Uh, it's got... Let me just hold this up for you. Six Legendary Cards and six Legendary Packets. So it's got the Obelisk of the Tormentor, Slife of the Sky Dragon of Ra, oh, Slife of the Sky Dragon, sorry, and the Winged Dragon of Ra. So um, I'm not sure if these are tournament legal though. Um, Obviously, they've done new cards because the old ones obviously weren't tournament legal, but they have done new um, card cards that are tournament legal. But I'm not sure these are, you may not be able to see that. Um, it doesn't really say the effect and what you have to do, so I'm not sure if it actually is. So I'm just gonna hoist my camera up there because this is, this is a large folder, so. Just gonna try and open it gently with as little damage as possible, and I should be able to. There we go. It's starting to rip off. There we go. It's a nice big folder, actually. Um, let's see what it says here on the back. So. Treasures of the Pharaoh from the Dark, no, Dual Enemy. Legendary Collection. Best selling booster packs, one pack of each. Legendary of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, Dark Crisis, and Invasion of Chaos. Three Egyptian, uh, Egyptian drop card cards, and Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, and Red Eyes, Black Dragon. So, let's open this up. So, like I said, this is. An enormous, well, it's not enormous, but it's a rather large um, folder to keep all your cards and your packs and everything like that. So it's really handy actually. So let's just open this up. So let's show you first of all the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Dark Magician, and you've got the last card, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So, I think I might leave the Egyptian God cards there. There's no point, they look pretty cool from the folder front there, and I probably will be using this. So, let's get all these packs, and we can move this enormous folder out of the way. There we go. I'm looking for maybe a um, holographic card, maybe a uh, piece of Exodia from these. So let's move this there. Okay, first pack. Definitely gonna open the blue eyes, legendary of blue eyes. So there we go. Very old card. So let's see what I've got. It's a me giant. Thirteenth grave. Hmm. Uruby. And a dark hole. Dark fire dragon. Tripwire beast. Basic insect. Vile germs. And petty angel. So I got the hmm, the dark fire dragon and the shiny dark hole. So quite cool. So um next pack I'm opening the Metal Raiders. So I've got Tainted Wisdom. When this card is changed from attack position to face up defense position, shuffle your deck. Seven colored fish. Steel Scorpion. If a non-machine type monster attacks this card, destroy it at the end of the phase. So I can turn it for the attack. Yeah. Original Harpy Lady, Sangam, which is was recently banned, so that's a shame. Illusionist, Faceless Magician, Hipkimi, Flame Cerberus, and Swamp Battle Guard. Uh, so, Sangam. Next, let's do a Pharaoh Servant. Not opening 
resistant. My trusty scissors. There we go. Should be able to at least open it now. Maybe not. DNA surgery. Sword Hunter, so if this card destroys your monster by battle, equip it to this card. As an equipped card, at the end of the battle phase, this card gains 200 attack for each card equipped to this effect. It's quite a good card, actually. Metal Detector, if you can activate this card when a continuous trap card is activated, negate all continuous trap card during the turn this card is activated. Ooh, very nice. A Beast of Talwa. So, that's a... Uh, Nice card. Nobleman of Extermination. Wing Weaver. Solomon's Law Book. Skip your next standby phase. Deep Sea Warrior and Kiestai. So I got a Beast of Talwa and a Nobleman of Extermination. Okay, an Invasion of Chaos. No. Just move these cards to the side here. So, Yellow Luster Shield. Increase the defense of all monsters on your side of the field by 300 points. Inferno. Ryu Koki. And, ooh, very nice, an Insect Princess. While this card is face up on the field, um, battle positions of all face up insect monsters on your opponent's side of the field are changed into attack position. That's if they use insects, of course. And chain disappearance. Jarma Delta Hurricane. Mind you, of 10,000 hands. Griffin's Feather Duster. And Pig Koala. So, Insect Princess. And chain disappearance. So far I've been getting quite good pulls considering these are just all these packs. So Dark Crisis is the next pack that I'm opening. So Gyaku Dai or Gyaku Gajaya Panda. Dark Scorpion Mene the Thorn. Battle Footballer, Outstanding Dog Marin. <laughs> That's quite. <laughs> Never seen a card like that before. When this card is sent to your graveyard, add it to your deck and shuffle it. Not bad. Dark Bishop Archfiend, Spell Reputation, Dark Scorpion Gold, The Strong, Incendent Ordeal, Morale Boost. So, Dark Bishop Archfiend there. And the last pack is. Spell ruler. Let's open this pack up to see. If it'll give me any surprises. See if it'll give me something nice. Slot machine. Octoburza. Chain energy. As long as you, you this card remains face up on the field. Both you and your opponent must pay 500 life points per card to play your set card from your respective hand. Dark Zebra. Rush Recklessly. That's the final card. So, increase one attack, uh, one monster's attack by 700 points during this turn. This card is activated. Reliable Guardian. Guardian of the Throne Room. Upstart Goblin. And Ryu Ram. So, a recap at all the cards that I got. This will probably be excluding obviously the three cards that you can start with. So Rush Recklessly, Dark Bishop Archfiend, Chain Disappearance, Insect Princess, Nobleman of Extermination, Beast of Talwa, Sangin, Dark Hole and Dark Fire Dragon. So thank you very much for watching. I'll be posting up more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, please subscribe if you wish to see more. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.